After the war, my father went home. He would never be a wealthy man, for he'd spent his considerable inheritance outfitting his militia volunteers and supplying the troops at Valley Forge. He was a patriot, a good father, and one of the best men my family ever produced. If Nathaniel had a flaw, it was that his legacy was a difficult one to live up to. Especially for his grandson, my only child, Chayton Black. Guy has big shoes to fill. So that was the ending cinematic of Act 1, Fire and Shadow after the Battle of Yorktown. And now we move into Act 2, Fire and Shadow. Chayton! In the 19th century, westward expansion slowed, not only in the face of fierce Native American resistance, but also in response to criminal activity. My name's Chayton Black. You might have heard of my mother, Amelia. She owns the Falcon Company. I guess I'd recovered enough from my war wounds to make a nuisance of myself. So she sent me out west on company business. Said it'd be good for me. I agreed to go, but only so I could reconnect with my Lakota uncle and see an old friend from my days in the Union Army. Ah, oh, for they my old buddy Chayton Black. I see you killed nicely. Long time no see, Billy. I never did get the chance to thank you for saving me back at Antita. Nothing you wouldn't have done in my place. And don't say I didn't do nothing good for you Indians. You haven't changed a bit, Billy. You were probably caught rifling through my pockets for loose change and had to carry me in. What brings you to Fort Laramie besides cleaning up messes the hen hearts back east are too scared to handle? Got some trading to do? I'm sure you received my telegram. Business aside, I'm hoping to find some Lakota family from these parts. Well, I got moved out west after the war. I'm the quartermaster around here. Now there's something that needs getting, you come to me. And you know how to work the system a lot of coin to be made aside from a few uh, minor nuisances speaking of nuisances tell me about this outlaw situation looks like this might be your lucky day to pay me back that life you owe me hmm? what's the trouble no offense but indians aside we got this reno gang has been interfering with our trading business and your railroad Nothing they won't do to get their hands on some cash made with an honest day's work. I see. Ah, we can get to all those details in due time. Sure is good to see you again, kid. We'll find a good spot for your trading post further up the trail. Find a trading post site. Own two trading posts when the scenario ends. So good sites for trading posts can be found further up the trail. Watch out for attacks. So we start off with a couple of cheeky heroes, Holm and Chayton Black. And some, well, looks like, uh, what are they? Skirmishers. So, Holm, a grizzled Civil War veteran, ranged infantry, and Chayton Black, half Lakota son of Amelia Black, ranged infantry too. We get Renegado? So, a dangerous outlaw with a gun if you've got spare gold to pay for it. Costs four food, actually. And, of course, our boy Chayton has useful abilities for doing instant damage. Good, good. That's the base. We've got some bison. Let's go uncover Watch some treasures. This is dangerous country. 
I'm going now. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. What you need? Yeah. All right. Yes. I think we were prepared for those wolves. Hello, hello. You got it. I'll get him. Okay. Gonna rescue this Chinook scout. He has an ability to stealth. Your enemy your units will be hidden from enemy units. Yeah. So if I activate that. They shouldn't be able to see me, apparently. Yeah, I appreciate that Hobbit quote, uh, Miga. Oh, <laughs> I was reading the chat there. I just casually walked into these guys. The Gandalf quote. Is he lying down? He's just chilling. So they got different animations and stuff. It's nice. It gives character, doesn't it? Okay. They not just got like one Perfect. stance. All right. Yes, right. I'm ready. What is your command? I'll do it. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm going now. I'm ready. Yes. These guys kind of sound like the human male from I'm World ready. of Warcraft. I'll do it. Yes, I'm going now. I'm ready. Right. I'm going now. Not yes. enough energy. Right. I'll do it. Right. Looks like I found an enemy base. That's probably going to be when you go round. Just doing a little bit of light scouting to make sure I don't really miss out on too much. I could go off the beaten path, but I think we want to follow the uh, path along. This spot is perfect. Keep me covered while I get a treating post built. Uh, uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Hang on. It's the downside of scouting a bit too far ahead. Don't want this guy to die, ideally. Well, the scout doesn't have much health. I don't think he's... Oh, never mind. These guys really blended in with the environment. I was going to use his Infis ability when I felt like it was a better chance or a better time to use it, but it doesn't really feel like a level where I need the stealth right now. You're just going around okay. taking things. He was too squishy, that guy, to just throw around, because he'd just get one shot by a group of mobs. Get an experience. Escort the covered wagon from Fort. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, we'll see where we can get back there in time. Probably fine, to be honest. We can just ignore those guys. They're not actually strong enough to kill it, so... Why have the fight if you don't have to? Oh, no, they found me. One of them did. Just keep moving. Just pretend you're not being shot in the back. All right. Okay. Sure thing. Okay. That's you protected, All right. right? Okay. Sure thing. All right. Where's he going? Okay. Sure thing. 
Oh. We'll have to protect okay. the new town center while we scout further up the trail for another right. good trading post site. Alright. Yeah. Now we won't be able to age up or train soldiers right. until we get a second trade in What you need? Let's move. Okay. You got it. Yes. What is your command? I'm ready. I'll do it. What is your going now? Well, I'll see you guys later. Where the food at? Those poor bison. M bison's going down. That's right. I'll do it. What is your command? Going now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. I'll do it. I'm going now. I'll do it. What is your command? Going now. I'm ready. Right. What you need? What is your? I'm going now. I'm ready. I'll do it. What you need? Is he building? It's on one hill. Yeah. Okay. Sure thing. All right. Okay. Hmm. There you go. Team wall staple paws. Team livestock fat and faster. Livestock generate more Another experience points. Another covered wagon is on the way. Auto gather work rate for herded animals. Does that count for herded animals are different to hunted animals, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're oh hello. What is your Yes, I think that's partly why Grubby probably got a lot into Mecha Billum, isn't it? Because <laughs> it's quite similar to um direct strike. It's not like on my immediate radar right now. Um, this gives health to my villagers in case I get attacked. What you need? See, these guys get through fine. So food is coming in. Can I build any more town centers? One out of one. You can get a state, artillery, stable, barracks, church, trading post, outpost, dock. Mill, market, and manor house. I had some people slagging off the market, but I still think this is totally worth it because markets have a better exchange rate. That's like a one off okay. deal, and I definitely use the markets a lot during the campaign playthroughs to sort of deliberately trade on resources that are easier to gather than others. So I think that's 100% worth it, in my opinion. Not really to get the market from it, but to get the better rates. Right. Okay. I'm ready. Just need food basically to tack up. So bad news for the bison, I suppose. I think these guys wanna Oh, they did actually, and they killed I'm gonna have to spread out some men then. And try not to hit my all button hockey. I'm ready. I'll do it. I'll split them into different groups. Hey, those are the scouts. We can try those again. Put those together. And then press the button. It makes them invisible, but not these guys, so. I'll do it. I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. What is I'm ready? Baka? Doesn't that mean idiot in anime? I'm going now. What is your command? I'm ready. I can build outposts, but most of the time I don't bother. 
Advance to the commercial stage. So he said something like you can't do that until something something. Let's go to the covered wagon. Looks like my troops were not cut out to deal with a few horses. I'm going now. I'll do it. I'm yes. What you need? All right. Right. Stop him. What you need? You got it. It's my style. I need gold. So I can get the post to protect. We can age up and train soldiers now. I need tier two to train that. Two settlers and semi fattened cows. There's your uh, outpost. These cowboys are quite tough. Oh, I'm under attack. I'm going now. I'll wait until I've tanked. Oh wow, these guys get absolutely destroyed, don't they? Holy crap. They're no match. Spreading out the town centers. What you need? Right. Yeah, I'm going. What can I run? I guess. Okay. I'm ready. I'm going. Yes, right. I'm ready. I'll do it. Yes, right. I'm going now. I'll do it. They got good range. Is that me tanked? It is. Which means I can start buying these. Yes. That's one hostile camp. I assume this is the second one. Stick him on stealth and he can have a look around. Or he was already on stealth and now he's out of stealth because I clicked it. I don't know. I think he's still got a cooldown, so. He's quick enough, though. He keeps calling me an idiot, which I can understand. Most people do. I'll try and get a well-rounded army. Rock. 
There you go, stealthy boy. Off you go. That doesn't look good over here. Looks like they're up to no good. Shouldn't I have one of those wagons? I think when I teched up I was supposed to get a wagon that can produce an outpost, but I don't know where it's gone exactly. It's probably to one of my rally points, but my rally points go to like resources. So I'm not sure. Right. We need a lot more food and gold. It's near the mine. Oh, you're right. There it is. Yep. Do another outpost. I don't want to build it when I'm getting attacked, though. Are they going to kill it? I don't know what they're up to. <laughs> they just came to say hi, but they didn't want to commit. Okay. You know, I don't know. I probably did play like the Age of Empire 1 campaigns back in the day, but nothing recent. Right, we're getting good amounts of wood, so we can go a little bit onto gold. We're going to need food supply, because that I don't have. And I'm going to start just getting some general units, just because why not? Mix it up a bit. Right. Make it right. I suppose I may as well keep getting those outposts. They're going to save me some trouble when I go out and fight them. Um, 250 wood, though. Are they saying on wood? Or forward? Jeez, that's quite a lot, actually. I'm going to go into the town centre and kite around. See if the towers can do anything. They're doing like run-bys, drive-bys. This is the equivalent of a drive-by. I'm a pitcher. Need a lot more food now. Should put this just outside of the way, where they just they probably won't go. See, the AI doesn't really scout for this stuff, so I think you can just put things like mills like all the way on the outside of the map. Maybe I'll get myself a whole ton of uh, renegados. Oh, hang on a second. I said they don't scout, but but they might not attack. Yes. Yeah, they're not attacking. I could probably take them, but yeah, they're not attacking, so I'm safe. Still going for experience, I suppose. That's fine. Because I can just trade that into cards. They can give me all of these one-time resources. There is a tier 3 I can actually go for. 
right. Hmm. I'll do it. What you need? Yes. Right. Yeah. All right. What you need? Sure thing. You can build a tower next to the mill for them to hide in. Yeah, yeah, if they attack. I think if you're playing PvP, you probably want to do that, but like I say, the AI is kind of like a bit dumb. What can I do? Which is great. <laughs> going now. What you Makes my life easier. They can uh, have an attack opportunity, but they won't necessarily capitalize on it. So you don't want to provoke them into doing something like that. Start stacking up gold because when I eventually start taking up to tier three, I can go mass. Um, actually, maybe I don't do that anyway. I'll probably just get like a bunch of units properly. I'll wait for one more recruitment. Just paying attention to which one's coming out first. Looks like Max Katia's the first. I don't want to miss out, so I'll just do it even a little bit earlier if I need to. Alright. Well, look at that, they all just spawn instantly. Looks like a good ragtag group of soldiers. They'll do. What if my villagers can take these? Don't know if the towers help or not. Looks like they're doing okay. I can micro the injured ones out, but I'm not that worried. Get the weapon cache. He's actually going for the tower. And then the villagers you just go back and gold. I'm going now. What can I do? Right. Right. So I got the weapon cache over here, so that should be one hostile camp done. Okay. Don't think there's anything else over here. Right. There's some food crates and stuff to steal. Yeah. What you need? Right. So we'll go for the other hostile camp. I'll take up, why not? You'll do, I don't care. I'll get more horses because they're quicker. Yeah. Take less time. I'm, I'm really tempted to... Yeah, go on. Get him. Get him. I'm 
ready. I'll do it. To battle. What is your attack? I'm ready. I'm going now. That's right. What is your going We're now? Ready. Sure thing. Sure thing. What you need? Yeah. What you need? There's treasure here, but we're not that fast, I don't think. What does it say? Oh, 275 coins, not too bad, actually. Yeah. That was a tougher creep camp. Yes, I'll do it. She's going to be rich. She's going to pretend there was only 150 coins there. She's going to pocket the other 125. Greedy. Greedy peasants. Thank you, big bad. She gets her share anyway, you reckon? These guys are coming in. I don't even know where they came from. I think they're just being chucked in, because why not? They're the ones that walk a little bit like Johnny Depp. In Pirates of the Caribbean. Get out of here. What is your I'll do it. Yeah. Yes. What you It's from aging up. Oh, right, yeah. We've done it. Well done, everyone. Good job. Good job, team. Oh, big bad. Thank you for the uh, two gifted subs. So I have to look at all the decks now. Because it's a new set of peeps. Ah, that's why. You go to Act 2 and then you can get access to this stuff that I was trying to get beforehand. So I'm just going to tick all of that. More hit points. Um, better gathering rate. What's this one? Oh, build time is faster for artillery. Stuff like estates and livestock pens and farms are just... They build quicker. Ah, they're not as efficient though, but... I mean, building them quicker, is that that important, really? It doesn't feel like it's that much of an issue. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not like it's bad, but there could be other stuff you could take instead of that, I reckon. So I'm not, not so sure on that one. I could get access to this. A large force of outlaws, and it's random ones. Just get some crazy random dudes. There's my favorite, actually, the Falconets. Start popping those bad boys off. Should really try to get like a permanent damage thing layer. Like the cavalry. A lot of the time I kind of ignore them, but you know. It's because I know that you can just mass siege and get away with it. You've just earned your 26th card. In the Fire and Shadow campaign, your deck is limited to 25 cards, but you are allowed to have multiple decks. If you're having trouble winning a scenario, try building a difficult deck. Yeah. Some scenarios you can deliberately change your decks completely just to fight against it. I just assume that as long as I get a good general gist, I should be able to cover myself. So... 
That one is for livestock, which I basically never use. If I'm going to be honest, I pretty much never use that. I don't know if you need a one time of free villages, really. I don't know how important that is. Transform into a mill. Uh, not that excited. You could take the boat one just in case it's the boat level. I think you could take that in case you do this. Oh no. So you either just cut off the free villages. I don't think it's that important to have one extra villager for a one time thing. If you're really desperate to build those villages, you can just do that one. Otherwise, whatever. And then just take that in case you do end up going with the uh, herd. Seems fine with me otherwise. Okay. 